everyone, welcome to Joyful Chats. I am here with Giuseppe, who is right now in Cats. Hi. Okay. What is it like having parents who are dancers and then your mom teaching you? Was it like a pressure to perform or you wanted to perform? Uh, I mean, since I was a kid, I've always wanted to perform. Like, um, you, uh, my parents definitely guided me into, into this and I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> Um, I mean, you know, they're both ballet dancers. My brother's a ballet dancer with the Paris Opera Ballet. Yeah. My sister's a carpenter, so, so she got out. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah no, it was, it was uh, it's really interesting. I mean, since I was a kid, I would always, like, dance around, you know, seeing my parents dance and seeing my brother dance, and they just put me in ballet classes, and here I am today. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. So what was your first exposure to Broadway? Oh, first exposure to Broadway was actually when I did Billy Elliot. I, um, I came to the United States when I was 11 years old um, to do a ballet competition called YAGP, Youth America Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next thing you know, Nora Brennan, the kids casting director for Billy Elliot, saw me there, asked me to audition for the role of Billy, and... That's yeah. pretty cool. Wait, so did you see any Broadway shows before that? No, like, not at all. I mean, my mom would always like joke around when I was a kid. She would always like pick up the phone and just be like, Oh, hi, Seppi. Uh, 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 hello? Is this uh, Broadway? Oh, Broadway. It's for you, Seppi. <laughs> and it would be so, like, it's, it's the weirdest thing because it's, now it's like full, full circle, you know? Yeah, because so you're in your fourth show, right? Yeah, this is pretty four. awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, so when did you first take from ballet and start training for like acting and singing? Um, I started training for uh, singing right out of Billy Elliot, so I, I didn't really have any prior experience to that, you know, everybody was always like, oh, you're going to be fine when you're like, when you're, once you get out of Billy Elliot, everybody's going to want you, and it was a very different reality. Right. Um, I had to prove myself all over again as an adult. Right. Um, exactly, exactly, and also, you know, you grow up, your look becomes different, mm -hmm. you, your features change, um, and also as a kid, there's a whole different talent pool, Right. you know. Uh, when you're older, there is a lot more competition out there. Right. Um, anyway, uh, when I was so basically when I was uh, when I was 14, I started taking voice lessons. Uh, when I was 16, I started training acting with Susan oh. Batson. That's cool. You only started yeah. 16 training for acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was when I was 16. Um, prior to I that, already I already in Belly Elliot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. Cool. I mean, that that itself was like a whole entire school. You know, any show you do, any experience you have with right. with um, acting or anything like that, even when you're like reading yeah. and you're reading it out loud, you're acting. You know, right. you just gotta you just gotta put yourself out there and, and keep learning. I um, love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never give up. That's that's real. So, what's your favorite thing you learned from becoming an actor? Uh, my favorite thing from becoming an actor is that I get to be anybody I want. That I think that I think is the beauty of acting because you really I mean you you get to become something you are not at all. Right. You know you play let's say you play Hamlet you get you, you get to become Hamlet. Right. You know or or, or like Melchior. When you're exactly Melchior. when you're playing Melchior you get to become Melchior you get to you get to step into this other person's life right. and escape your own which is which is incredible you know yeah. even though my life I wouldn't say is like terrible but you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> hey, your brother also performs well. Do you ever want to do a show with him? And was it ever like comp competitive between you two? Like you both auditioned for the same role? Or? Um, so my brother is actually ten years older than I am. Okay. So never really um, competition. Okay. Uh, I've always wanted him to be my older Billy when I was doing Billy Elliot. Oh, that would be cool. I always wanted him to be that, but unfortunately he was working. Okay. Um, that would have been really cool because he also sings and dances and, and you know, does all the does all the things. Uh, yeah, I, I would I would love to one day just be able to perform with my brother. I mean, we do covers on YouTube and stuff right. like that, but we've never really performed in a show together since like, I was like... Like 54 Below Show or something. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That'd be really cool, a 54 Below Show coming soon, my brother and I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so you weren't you weren't doing that. Okay, so congratulations on Cats. Were you Thank familiar you. with it beforehand? And what was your audition process like? Um, okay, so I, I I knew of Cats, and my mom always wanted me to play Rum Tum Tugger in any show I could. Yeah. Um, it, and my brother actually did perform Rum Tum Tugger at one point in our ballet school's production in Switzerland. That's cool. And uh, yeah, it was really cool. 
But uh, yeah, I was I was fairly familiar. I would always watch clips of cats, and my mom would always be like, "Oh, you know, you gotta know, you gotta know, and you gotta inform yourself about everything." I was like, "Okay, I'll do that." Yeah. Um, next thing you know, auditions for cats show up on ActorsEquity.com. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, let's you know, let's see where where this goes. Um, I go to audition, and six callbacks later. Six callbacks? Six callbacks. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. new for everybody. Right. Um, everybody who has seen it will see new things and everybody who hasn't seen it will get to experience a whole new show. 